Hello my friends, this is Lionel Anderson with you guys with a breaking news update. Uh, as you can see, we started today's video off there with Trump with a bloodied ear, you know. Uh, apparently he got, you know, popped during one of his live uh, speeches just like a half hour ago, as of when I'm making this right now. And I'm going to show you the actual footage in a second here of what happened. But, uh, yeah, this is huge. This is absolutely huge. And we're going to be asking the question in today's video, was this a staged psychological operation? Because, my friends, the world is a stage. Everything that you're seeing going on right now, pre-planned, okay? The powers that be know exactly what they're doing. And Trump, whether you want to accept it or not, is part of the NWO plan, okay? So with that being said, I'm not going to make the claim that what happened right now was a stage PSYOP, but we're going to ask the question. We're just asking the questions, okay? And looking at some of the events that have happened since, which it's only been about a half hour, but already some suspicious things, in my opinion. And we're just going to, we've got to question everything, okay? We have to. Because when major things like this happen, that's going to further an agenda uh, forward, we need to ask the questions because we can't be fooled by these psychological operations, okay? So if you enjoy the video, hit the subscribe button, smash the like because it helps me out. And now, yeah, I want to show you the actual footage and really take a look at it. You saw the beginning footage there. It apparently he gets hit and then he had to say, oh, wait, yeah, yeah. And they took uh, pictures such as this. Oh, yeah. Well, remember, Trump is the hero savior, so that's just going to get people to support him even more, right? Uh, now, take a look at the actual footage and pay attention. Tell me if you think this is legit. And then the worst president in the history of our country took over. And look what happened to our country. Probably 20 million people. And, you know, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old, and if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. There you go. As you can see, he uh, grabs his ear. We hear some pops. He grabs his ear, goes down, and uh, the, all the secret security guys come out, get on top of him, and then he gets up, and that's when he proceeded to go like that as the hero savior, right? And already, in the wake of what has happened, immediately we got Mr. Controlled Opposition, Elon Musk. We know Elon Musk is involved with all the NWO agendas. Yeah, he's definitely part of the club. You don't get to be uh, world's richest man if you're not part of the club, okay? He immediately comes out and fully endorses Trump. Take a look. There you go. I don't think he endorsed him before that, but now, oh, I fully endorse President Trump. And this, since you got to see Elon Musk is the number one followed guy on X because he owns it now. Uh, so obviously millions of people have seen that tweet and it's going to encourage others to, yeah, I fully endorse him. It's all part of the, the agenda in my humble opinion. They want Trump to be that hero savior already with all the attacks against him, with the court stuff and all that. That's all pre-planned. That's all staged just to get the support behind him and create the illusion like they're after him. Well, this was just another a step in that agenda, okay, and what what frightens me a little bit is I know there is a plan to bring in a civil war conflict within the United States. I've, I've made many videos on this, and now this, what we see here, is a massive stepping stone to that civil war, and I even told you guys, I made a video a couple weeks ago, that I thought something big was going to happen on July 12th. Well, this happened July 13th, one day after. But in case you guys uh, forgot, July 12th 
during the halftime show, Usher uh, stood on a clock, and a clock was spinning, and it stopped on 7-12, which I said could either be July uh, July 12th or December 7th. Uh, take a look. That's right, but I had a feeling some major events were going to happen, so I understand this happened on the 13th and not the 12th, but uh, I don't know, maybe it's connected still since it was just one day after, maybe something else happened behind the scenes we didn't know on the 12th, I don't know, but maybe the 12th was just the start of when things were going to get crazy after that, I don't know, but this is a massive event, and this isn't going to be the end of it, uh, I believe this is a massive stepping stone for the Civil War agenda. This is what they needed because the emotions are intense and high now, right? And this is this is a big stepping stone. I wouldn't be surprised in the coming weeks and definitely the coming months we see some uh, more big events. Maybe they'll call it uh, terror-related events and they'll blame it on the Trump supporters because, oh, the Trump supporters are mad this happened to them and they're going to go out and start bombing things and stuff like that. And it'll be, it's all a big build up. And obviously, it's going to be all uh, stage psyops. There might be real consequences and real casualties, but I think it'll be uh, orchestrated by uh, organized uh, deep state operatives to uh, really get the ball rolling, to get the people, you know, clashing. Because that's what they want, it's part of the agenda. Okay, but this was huge for that. So definitely be careful and be on the lookout in the coming weeks, months, in the United States, especially if you live in the United States, because 2024 is going to be a hell of a year, election year, a lot's going to happen. But just keep in mind, okay? All right, and like I said, we're just asking the question. I'm not saying 100%. I understand this just happened, okay? I understand that. So who knows, maybe this actually did happen. I still doubt it, but I don't know for sure. We're just asking questions. But just keep in mind, that Donald Trump is an actor, okay? He is an actor. He's been in many acting roles. He's been in movies, and he's actually a frequent uh, in the WWE with Vince McMahoner, okay? And I got a clip to show you of some of his acting abilities, but never forget, WWE wrestlers frequently in their fights, uh, they know how to cut themselves, right? They have a little blade, or they'll even have fake blood packages. How easy that would have been to have like some blanks go off that sounds like something's being fired. And as you see, I don't know, that video just ooh, goes down. Obviously, the secret security guy's jumping all on top of him, so people behind him can't see. Takes out a packet, or if he wants to make it look real, takes out a sharp blade. Easy. And of course, he gets up. Of course, he had to say, no, one sec. He had to go like that. He, they needed that shot. They needed the pictures. You see, they had the pictures of him going like that. They needed the photo op of that. To me, it's it looked extremely staged. To me, that's what my opinion is. I'm not saying that was the case, but to me, that's what it looked like. And I know Trump is an actor, specifically the WWE, which they're trained on how to do those things. It's not very difficult. And they know the sheeple will fall for it. So take a look at Trump in action with his acting with the WWE. Take a look. There you go, and there's many more clips. He was on that show all the time, fighting with the old Vince there, right? Which, you know, Vince is not a very good guy. He just got busted for uh, trafficking of women and whatnot, and he had to step down. Of course, Trump was good buddies with him, along with uh, Mr. Jeff there, Epp, you know, and P. Diddy, who's also been in trouble. Well, him and Trump were great friends. So, eh, a little suspicious, you know, this hero's sure are friends with a lot of... um crappy people yeah so definitely i'd say question them gotta question everything my friends in this time like in this day and age i should say with everything that's going on and we know everything's been orchestrated up until now and this is a major event and this is just the beginning and there's gonna be severe implications of all this and the tensions are high 
the majority of the Trump Trump supporters, if not all, have eaten this up. Hook, line, and sinker. And this civil conflict is well underway. And I believe by election time, whatever massive events they got planned, it's not going to be good. And I do believe, you know, the QAnon, trust the plan, the mass arrest, I do believe that's all going to happen. But not because the white hats are coming. No, I believe that is all a NWO agenda. That's right, CIA operation. And I believe it's going to be the NWO doing it to bring in their great matrix reset and to bring in the beast system under Trump. But, of course, the uh, brainwashed sheeple who eat up the QAnon stuff will think, oh, it's fun. the storm's finally upon us. They have no idea what's truly going to come out of all that. But I do believe that was put out as a psychological operation, put into people's minds, oh, the arrests are coming. It'll eventually become, but... Uh, it's not going to be what you think it is if you're a Q guy or a Trump supporter. It's not going to be good in the end. It's going to bring in a whole new era of uh, chaos. Okay? This is crazy times to be living in. We're watching a movie being played, Hope, my friends. Literally. And what it comes down to is we got to be on guard, you know? And we got to really spot the BS when it happens or else we get sucked into these traps. You know, I called a few months ago that I thought something like this would, would happen, uh, that there would be an attempt on Trump, you know. And I do believe at some point they are going to take him out completely, but I believe it'll be staged. I think he'll be okay. He'll just go under underground. That's his time to make the exit off the world stage. But I do, I do always was saying this is coming because it's a perfect way to divide the country and bring in this agenda. It's very interesting because I told you guys a couple weeks ago about uh, this Cliff High character who said that there was going to be a major event that was going to come mid-July. Yes, this researcher guy named Cliff High said that. And then the future forecaster group, who are remote viewers, did some remote viewings and confirmed that they saw a projection for the future around mid-July, a major event happened. And they even said that they think there might be something to happen on the 12th or the 13th or the 14th, and then over the days it would escalate. And uh, perhaps this is what they saw, and maybe by the 15th, 16th, something even more will happen. So be on guard, my friends. Like I said, be careful. The United States is dangerous at this point in time uh, to be going to... Uh, main attraction uh, places, you know, where a lot of tourists go. You never know what could happen uh, because there's a lot of agendas going on right now. I'm not saying to be in fear. That's the last thing we need to be is to be in fear. We need to just observe this because it's a movie. You you are watching a movie unfold. And as long as you don't fall into fear, you'll be okay. But uh, j just take it as, as a movie. You're watching a movie. But be smart, you know. Be smart. And... Uh, be aware of your surroundings kind of situation at the same time. Because we know these people are psychopaths and they will do crazy things. They've done it before. They're going to do it again. But as long as you're smart and you're not in fear, you'll be guided to what you need to do and where you need to be. So you got nothing to worry about. But if you're going to play into this nonsense and play into the drama that's unfolding and give your energy to it, as in, oh, I hate I hate the left, I hate the right, I'm, I'm this and that, ah, oh, Trump, ah, oh, Biden, he's this, and if you're going to get all worked up like that, and you're going to fight with your fellow brother and sister, well, I think it's going to be those people who are going to experience the negative effects of what's going to unfold here. But if you don't fall for all that drama and all that controversy, and you just observe it as the movie it is, you work on raising your vibration, being in the love vibration, you'll be guided to where you need to be, and you won't be affected, okay? So, don't buy into it, my friends. I believe this is all just a big stunt to raise Trump's popularity even more. Make him that hero character, which is why he had to go like that. You know, it's it, all the people like, oh, Trump, oh, he's such a hero. Oh. Every, I see the comments, pray for him, pray for him. Oh, he's so great. He's this and that. That's, that was all done by design, right? They give you your hero characters, okay? So, all I'm asking for you guys is to ask these questions, okay? So many people will say, 
oh, everything's been orchestrated with what we saw with, you know, what went on in 2020 and uh, everything since then. Everyone sees how all these world events aren't random, right? Uh, people are waking up to that. Well, this is no different, okay? This is no different. And especially when you see an event like this and then you see stuff unfold in the aftermath, that's part of an agenda, then you'll know for sure that it was uh, meant to be. Especially you guys got, got guys like Elon Musk out there already promoting it. Obviously, it was all over mainstream media. That's all mainstream media is going to be talking about now. Rightfully so. Part of the agenda, right? So... Something to keep in mind. You guys let me know what you think this is all about, okay? Leave a comment down below. I want to hear your guys' opinions on it. Or is old Lionel just being crazy here, you know? I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. If you guys appreciate my work, uh, I am on Patreon, so the link to that is down below. And I'm on the website Buy Me Coffee. Of course, uh, you want to buy old Lionel Coffee, help support the channel. I will uh, even send you some free Patreon videos as a thank you to your email. So the link to that is down below. And yeah, subscribe and just let me know what you guys think. That's I'm curious to know. And yeah, be safe, my friends. That's it. Lionel signing off. Question everything.